I'm going to bring on this great woman of God who don't mind by preaching, teaching. Praise the Lord. And she don't preach and teach something that she don't live. What she preach and teach, she live it. Praise God. And we want to thank God for our leader. I won't say my leader. I say our leader. Praise the Lord because she is all our leader. And we thank God for her on this morning as she comes to our front. Amen. I need the
And after a while came unto him they that stood by and said to Peter, Surely thou art one of them, for thy speech betrayeth thee. Then became he, he, began to, he then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man, and immediately the cock crew. And Peter remembered the word of Jesus, which said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept bitterly. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. If we were to you say text, our text would certainly come from the 75th verse. And Peter remembered the words of Jesus. We said unto him, Before the rooster crows, you shall deny me thrice. And he went out and wept, wept bitterly. Amen. Amen. Amen? If we were to use a subject today, our subject would be to the bottom and back. Wow. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before that throne of grace. We pray now, that God, that we decrease, that you may increase. Help us, God, to die to our own will and our own way. That no flesh reveals itself, but the spirit of the living God will have free course. Anoint these lips of clay, that when we open our mouth, we will not speak of ourselves, but let us speak as oracles of God. Show yourself, God, show yourself strong. Heal, deliver, and set the captive free. In the name of Jesus, oh God, for thy glory, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Praise God. We all have heard and we know of the story of how a man, uh, Peter, denied the Christ. We know that, amen, in this book it talks about the denial, amen. Many of us live in denial. All right. We honor him in the church and at the church we don't know him oh, wow. amen but well, we want to talk about from the bottom to the amen and to the bottom and back amen and we know the story of what happened amen with peter's denial you know peter amen was sitting around whole while jesus was Amen. Preaching and amen. Going about doing good. Peter was all right. We as people of God, we, we do all right when things are well. But it's a problem sometimes when things come up. And when you get in trouble, it's hard to find people that will stand by you once you're in trouble. Everybody loves winners. Nobody really want to be with a loser. Christ had been doing some great and mighty things, and many people were healed, delivered, and set free by the ministry of Jesus. Peter being one of his disciples, amen, you would have thought that with all he had seen and all that he had witnessed, that he would have stuck with Jesus because he's the one, after all, said that I'll never forsake you. I'm going to be there for you. I don't care what come or go. How many people have you experienced that promised you they would be with you in the good and the bad, and they would never leave you? But when the rough got rough, and the tough got tougher, they walked away from you. Mm. And it's a very bad feeling when people walk away that promise to stay with you. Amen. You expect them to be there. Yeah, yeah. Amen. I say oftentimes that if nobody be with me, I expect my closest to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Because I trusted you that you would always be there. But like Peter, amen, Peter, amen, was with Jesus all that time. And you know, he was the one that even when Christ asked, who do men say I am? And they say that some say you're Elias. Some say that you're the prophet. And say some say you were this one and that one, Emmanuel. But he said, who do you say I am? Peter was the one that stepped up and said, I said, thy art the Christ, the son of a living God. 
He was the one that Jesus said, Peter, flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but this was revealed by the Holy Ghost. So that same Peter, so you knew he was close. Hallelujah. That the Holy Ghost could reveal to him who Jesus really was. A lot of times we don't get that close to know really who Jesus really is. Mm. We hear of him. Mm. We think we know of him. But when things get rough, can we really trust him? When it don't look like we can hear from him. When we cannot seem to see him or feel him, can we still trust him? That same Peter. Well, we find out that Peter, amen, now they had put Jesus into captivity and they had had his trial. And you understand that, amen, that they had voted that Jesus be crucified and that Barabbas go free. We know Barabbas did just what they said he did. He was a thief and a robber, amen, and all the things he was accused of, he did them. Amen. But we understand that Jesus was innocent. Amen. And did none of the things they accused him of. But yet he was accused. Have you ever been accused of something you really didn't do? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a bad feeling to be accused and not guilty. Yes. Mm. But when they said make a decision. Yes. Who you want to let go free? Yes. Barabbas or whether it's Jesus. Yes. The crowd cried out, let Barabbas go free and crucify Jesus. My oh, glory to God. Isn't that just like the world today? Yes. The world will go with what's wrong and, and let what's right suffer. Yes. But that's all right. Because God is still in control. Yes. So we find that, amen, Jesus now is being carried from judgment Hall and sinners to being crucified. Yes. Now we find out that Amen, Peter, Amen, is there warming by the fire. And we find that somebody recognized him. You know, people try to recognize you when you've been with people that are being talked about now. Mm -hmm. They want to ridicule him and persecute him for being. Hanging out with Jesus. So therefore, somebody recognized him and said, aren't you one of those that fathered him? Yes. Peter said, no, I'm not one of those. It's just like some of the saints of the Most High God. Know that you're supposed to be saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost, filled, fire baptized. But when you get around certain people, yeah, you don't want nobody to know that really you know who Jesus is. Yeah. So you deny the Christ and the word of the living God because you don't want to be recognized. So tell me that it went on and another one recognized and said, surely you are him. You're one of those. I recognize you by your speech. And Peter got so angry, Peter went to cussing. What that proved, I don't know. But he still was who he was. He denied the Christ, the true and the living God. Then he went on a little further. And then they recognized and said, yes, yeah, surely you're one of them. And Peter, amen, began to hear the rooster crow. Jesus had already warned him to before the cock crowed thrice. Three times you'll be done denied me. But Peter said, No, Lord, I never deny you. But now he had came the time and came back to his remembrance that he said he would never deny him. And lo and behold, he done denied him three times. And now the rooster is crowing. You gotta be careful how you deny the Son of a living God. You gotta be careful. Will not no. regardless of what the consequences are go through one God 
grace is going to see you through. Yes. It's him that's going to make a way for your escape. What's going on? You might as well because I won't deny If it means my life, I have to give my life. Somebody said that's crazy. I won't give my life. Oh, glory to God. But if you don't like I know,
Do you go to one of those tone talking churches? I say, I most certainly do. And I even talk in tongues myself. They looked at me. They said, so you the noisy crew. I say, yes. Yeah. I belong to the noisy crew. If you talk to praising God, noisy crew, I'm a part of the noisy crew. They say, you're speaking tongues. And you make a whole lot of noise. I say, yes. Yeah. But even better than that, I have faith that the God I serve is healer and he's deliverer. He set the captive free. And right now, I can feel him in my hand. I can feel him in my spirit. They say, oh, you're going to shout in here. I said, don't matter. It doesn't matter where I am. If the spirit of the Lord come upon me, I'll dance like David. I'll shout and I'll give God glory. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It's the power of God of the salvation. The everyone that believes, he looked at me. I said, for what? Nah. I said, let me tell you something. When all of y'all gone, nah, he'll be right here with me. He promised never to leave. He promised to never forsake me. Stay with me always. Hallelujah. He said, all right, I'm going to let you go on with that. I said, yes, do that. Because let me tell you something. If you're trying to get me to deny Christ nah, in a time like this, nah, in a generation like this, nah, just fooling yourself. I, I'm gonna stay on the battlefield. I, I'm gonna stay serving the Lord. I, I'm not afraid if it cost me my life. If I die, let me die in the army of the Lord. I, I'm not afraid. Cause if I die now, I ain't got to die no more. to this evening. He promised to be with me always, even to the end of the earth. He's going to be with me. So what I got to lose? I don't know no friend. I don't know no prestige. From the White House to the outhouse, I own him as Lord and Savior. Soon coming king. Yes. I don't care if it's from the bottom to the top. Yes. From the bottom back, I own him. He is my Lord. He is my Savior. He's my soon coming king. I will not deny him. You ain't got enough to take God out of your life. You don't have enough prestige and you don't have enough money. Mm -mm. He's greater than everything we own or ever will have because he's Lord of Lords, King of Kings, Mighty God, Prince of Peace. After Peter went through all that and now he still needs Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So we can get around our city friends. Mm -hmm. Our people that don't make noise because they say empty wagons make noise. Mm -hmm. I said, well, if an empty wagon make noise, I can imagine what quiet wagons do. Mm -hmm. Amen. I have a praise and I've got to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Children used to ask me, Mama, Mama, how do you pray for people all in the grocery store? That's what they asked me to pray, didn't they? I couldn't help you in the grocery store. You know what that means? I'm not going to chance forget it. I'm supposed to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to be praying for you and don't pray for you nothing. They forget about you. No, let's pray now. Not a shame. I don't care where you are, you can be in the 
in the in the White House. I wouldn't care. Need prayer? We gonna pray right there. Put me out if you want to, but I'm gonna pray. I don't care because He's my Lord. He's my Savior. It's in Him I move and have my being. If it wasn't for the Lord, I couldn't be here. You couldn't either. He's the breath we breathe. Oh, glory to God. Bible said we were dead. Until he bend down and breathe breath into our nostrils. Then and only then did we become a living soul. That's why the devil right now trying to take our breath. So let me tell you something. You better keep on praising God. You better keep on listening to God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we let the Mary be for you. Lord, that you'll send forth healing. You'll send forth deliverance. You'll send forth a peace that surpasses all other understanding. Able to keep her mind and her heart stayed on you. I pray now, God, that you'll cover them under the blood of Jesus. Shelter from every storm that rages. Keep us safe by day and by night, that no evil befall, no plague come nigh thy dwelling. Give your angels charge of them. I rebuke every headache spirit. I speak every tormenting spirit. I come against every defile and everything that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. I command it to go in the name of Jesus. I cancel your assignment, devil. You have no victory. You have no power and you have no authority. Loose them now. They don't belong to you. They belong to God and devil, you can't have them but they don't belong to you. I plead a blood covering over them. You said no evil shall befall them. No plague come nigh their dwelling. But you'll give your angels charge over them to keep them in all of their ways. And in all of their ways, they will acknowledge you and you will direct their path. In the name of Jesus, Lord, touch Dr. Gunda. Move upon her as you move upon the face of the demon. 
Lord, touch Chris. Move upon him, Lord. His mind, soul, body, and spirit. Deliver and set the captive free. I curse strongholds. I come against the foul. I come against imps and demons. I come against principalities and powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. I curse them now. I render them inoperable. They can't even operate. They ain't got no power. I command them to loose the mind, the soul, the body, and the spirit. Mindful the war and angel, I dispatch you and put you on assignment. Go into their homes right now. Oh God, bring peace, bring love, joy, happiness in the Holy Ghost. Bring contentment in the name of Jesus. I find every confusing demon, every demon that tries to conquer and divide. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Lord, you say where you are to lie, strength will lie. Let the strength of God be upon these homes. In the name of Jesus, show yourself, God. Show yourself strong. Favor, Lord. Let the divine favor of God rest, rule, and abide upon them and their gates. Show yourself, God, and show yourself strong. Heal, deliver, and set free. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, look upon Lady Shay, touch her and her children. Strengthen what's weak, build up what's torn down. Open doors, make ways. In the name of Jesus, I come against every closed door. I command you to open it. In the name of Jesus, look upon these children, touch them, touch them, heal, deliver, set free. In the name of Jesus, move mightily in the midst. Show yourself God and show yourself strong. In Jesus' name, you may be seated. Praise God. We encourage saints of God. There's a flow in the atmosphere. God is up to something. God is doing something great and mighty. You might as well prepare yourself for what the Lord is doing. He's doing some mighty things. Amen. Get ready. You're going to see a wave of God like never before. That's why God is trying to set the aura in the church again. It's no time for church to go wild. Mm. It's not a time for church to change them, their life to another life. Talking about the world doing it. The broad way is crowded. But this way is a narrow way. You find very few walking this way. Get on the straight in the now. That means everything others do, I won't do. Say what you will. Say what you want to. Holiness is still right. Amen. Hallelujah. You must stay on the straight and now. That's because the world doing it, it seems like they're getting away. The wages of sin is still death. But the gift of God Hallelujah. is eternal life through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us walk in the spirit that we fulfill not the lust of our flesh. Let's continue to walk in the spirit. Let God do what he got to do in our lives for our lives. Trust him when you can't trace him. Yes, Trust him when you can't hear from him. Trust him when you can't feel him. Trust him. He's a God that will. May not come when you want him, but he's a long time God. He'll show up in your dilemma. He'll show up in your situation. He'll bring you out. And he'll bring you through. Because that's the kind of God we serve. Who wouldn't serve a God like him? Who wouldn't serve a God like him? He's mighty. He's a strong power. Saints. Yes. Don't 
Don't let the devil make you throw up your hands and forget about God. But if you throw up your hands, you say, I surrender, I give you praise, Lord. I give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. At this time, we get ready to bless God in our giving. The Bible says, if you give, it shall be given unto you. Good measures, press down and shake it together and run it over. Just say, how long are we going to eat and get out? The moments are going here. Amen. Amen. Our first two five thousand dollars, Mr. Mark gave us six, but we can put it at five, and then we'll go working on the third five thousand. And this is our thermometer. Amen. And we need you to keep up with it, so you'll know. And this is for our building fund. Amen. Our roof project, where we're getting ready for our roof. Amen. And we want you to be able to help the thermometer go up. You see what the temperature now, right? It's down here. Okay. Point down there. You ain't got no light on. You point down there. Uh -huh. And we're going to take it on up and take it on up to get to where it has to go. And we be able to do what we got to do. So we need your support. We need you as the people of God to be a blessing. Amen. To the house of God. The book of Habakkuk say you care more for your house than you do the house of God. We got to care for God's house too. Yeah. You know, you know you don't want your roof leaking. No. I, I don't. I don't. I don't want no pails and no blue tarps all over my house. I want to make sure the roof all right. Yeah. The hurricane and storms of life start raging. I got to know I got a good roof. Amen. Amen. We want to make sure that God's house is kept. So many things is lacking in the house of God, and we need to do what we got to do yeah. so that we can accomplish what we must accomplish. Amen? So I'm asking those of you that will sow the seed of $100 along with me, amen, sow your seed, don't eat your seed. And when you sow it, realize one thing, you are sowing in fertile ground. Amen? You ain't sowing in no... No, no, any kind of ground. You're sowing in fertile soil. Amen? Because you're looking for a fertile return. Amen? Amen. I wish this could be thousands of dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? But I want to make sure it's full circle. Yeah. So I give this hundred because I want a full circle blessing. Yeah. I don't want God to give me a quarter of it. I don't want half of it. I need the whole thing. Amen. I sow where I want to go. Amen. Because I know seeds means much. When you sow into the kingdom of God, you're going to receive a kingdom reward. Amen. Those of you out there in Facebook land, when you sow into fertile ground, the Bible said don't put your money out to end in everything. Don't put it out to usher. Make sure you know where your finance is going. And it's in a fertile ground. Yeah. Because only fertile ground gives fertile return. Yeah. Don't go planting that out in the beach. Ain't that going to happen? That's right. You want to plant? Go down the bell plate on the muck. It's black, itchy, and everything, but it'll grow. You may go through, but God will see you through. Amen. And you'll get that fertile return. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. You got to learn how to sow where you want to go. Amen. You can give your way out of poverty. Amen. I ain't got no hundred dollars. God know what you got. You sitting there worrying about you what you don't have. It's not what you don't have. It's what you have and you're not willing to give. The Bible says it's through your giving that you receive. Do you realize if there was no giving, there would be no receiving? Yes. Amen. You got to give in order to get. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Give me some water, baby. I need some water. You got to learn how to freely give. Yes. If you give it begrudgingly, don't give it at all. Right. Because you don't do no yourself no good. You got to give, and you got to give freely. Amen? The Bible says you have not because you ask not. 
Are you asking miss? It's not a season to be missing God. This is a season to know your God. So you become strong in the Lord and in the power of his resurrection. Amen. Praise God. You make him first, he's going to make you first. He said, I am Alpha and Omega. I'm the beginning and the ending. Have no other God before me. Amen. And I declare, if you make him first, he's going to make you first. Amen. Because that's the kind of God we serve. He said, I'm a jealous God. Have no other God before me. Amen. So we don't ever want to have anything before God. Amen. It's when you got that out of God. Do what you do. Come on. Give what you give. Give. But the Bible said when you enter the house of God, make sure you have an offering for the Lord. Prepare an offering. Oh, you don't want to talk about that, huh? Well, read your Bible. <laughs> You're supposed to prepare an offering for the Lord. Many don't agree because they don't want to do it. But let me tell you something. You can give your way out of poverty. You ain't got to stay in poverty. No, give your way out. And those that is on Facebook, you can cash app, dollar sign, RLCM1, JLD, or uh, either 954, six, I mean 321 6330. Amen. So you can always cash up or call the ministry, 954-321-6330 or 6331. You can cash up at uh, RFCM1, JLD, dollar sign, RFCM1, JLD, amen. And you can give your donation that way. Whether well, it's small or great, we appreciate it. Amen. Praise God. But God wants to do great and mighty things. Amen. Don't forget spiritual building. Spiritual building is at our Fort Pierce Church. Amen. In the area of Fort Pierce. Amen. And this house of victory is coming your way. And in the house of victory. Amen. You can always cash out. Amen. Dr. Dillard. Amen. Dr. S. Dillard. You got it on the board? No. Dr. S. Dillard, dollar sign, Dr. S. Dillard. And Zell, the Salida at gmail.com. Amen. And I forgot the phone number, but anyway, you can get it either way there. Get it to them. Amen. They have already begun getting donations, and God is blessing, and you want to be a part. Don't just think about me, myself, and I. Think of others. Amen. Yeah, if you can help somebody else, help them. You already know you got to take care of your house, but you still need to take care of others. The Bible said, don't close your bowels of mercy towards your fellow man. And show mercy. Help who you can help. Amen. Do what you can.